This is my first post on Reddit. My individual counselor has asked me to make a post to get it off my chest. I'm sorry. I know I'm in no position to negotiate. I did the worst thing imaginable. I'm sorry for making this long. I'm 42F, my husband is 44M and we have an adorable daughter, 17F. I was the one to have an affair. My husband is a real estate agent who works multiple hours and spends much of his time out. During October 2020, a guy, let's call him Jay, 24, knocked me on Instagram. We chatted in a decent way. Turns out he's the younger brother of a classmate with whom I attended high school. We chatted for seven months and in April 2021, we met the first time. Soon after, we began to have an emotional affair which later turned physical in June 2021. Despite knowing I had a family, I somehow convinced my selfish self that I was right. That it isn't serious and should be okay, I did not know what I was thinking, needless to say I was denying my husband any cuddling or romances. We were more like roommates at this point. We just basically slept on the same bed, we didn't talk much. He was struggling at his job. I couldn't be a good wife to him. I used to taunt him, argue with him over small reason. I used to absolutely despise him, Jay was much more fit and handsome than him. Jay began to think I settled for less even after I had a family and a good marriage. I'm going to be honest. It was all on me. August, his mother passed away and he breaks down in the bad way, he never had a good connection with his mother, she disapproved of me because of my past choices, which is why I asked him to choose. I was pregnant at that time too. After this, he rarely talked to his mom in front of me. Though he met her a few times without telling me, he began to argue with me more, blaming me for his mom's death, that I was what kept him from meeting his mom and I must be happy now that she's gone. I did another bad thing here. I didn't support him emotionally. I shouted at him. I didn't realize the impact it had on our daughter. I told him in August I wanted a divorce. That further broke him down. I rented out a small apartment and move out, taking my daughter with me. I told her I didn't want her near her father as he was having a mental breakdown and becoming emotionally abusive. Jay sometimes used to visit us. I introduced her to my daughter. They became friends due to similar gaming mentality, they both play the same game I guess. Things took the worst turn possible on September 24th. Jay tried to make a move on my daughter. She barely got out and called her father. I was working in the office then. She tried to reach out but couldn't due to my phone being on silent mode. When I saw her calls, I rushed to my home to find it filled with police and people. Jay was rushed to the hospital with a broken arm, broken jaw and swollen eyes. My daughter told everything to the police. Her eyes were red and she had been crying. I tried to console her, but she pushed me away. As my daughter was the victim and my husband had friends in the department, no charges were pressed against him. He was let go after police confirmed Jay was harassing my daughter. After everything calmed down for a bit that day evening, my husband reached out to me with my daughter asking for the truth, I gave him the truth then. I apologized, begged, cried for him, told him this was the worst mistake and I never thought for things to turn out this way. What hurt more is my daughter telling me I was a homewrecker. Husband said he's going to take our daughter with him and we will be getting divorced. He's pushing for full custody and filing a fresh paperwork for divorce on grounds of infidelity. I told him I want to work on our marriage. Beg him, I want a chance. He isn't listening to me. I cut off all contacts with Jay, October 2nd, Jay's girlfriend, yes he has a girlfriend I didn't know about her at all, contacts me, and types out all the worst names you can imagine on earth. Tells me that she broke off from AP, and she wishes, my family breaks up too. After that day, I started to work on my marriage. I tried reaching out to my husband, he blocked me on everything, even has a new phone number. I began individual counseling, reading books and trying to come clean about everything. I had a chat with my daughter. She doesn't want to call. I told her everything. Told her I was sorry and all I want now is just a happy family and I'd gladly give up everything to make it work. 
She tells me I'm selfish and that I would have kept her father in dark only to get restart with Jan thanked for breaking up the happy family and home she has known of. She also told me that her father is introducing her to his side of family, his sister and brother, they're way nicer than I am. I'm sorry for this is long. I'm new on Reddit and I don't know if this is the right place to post. I need advices to work on my marriage, I realized what I did. Hello, I have no idea how to link, but I have an update. So my husband and I have talked and we are both trying to take things day by day and work on ourselves right now. I've been going to therapy and have been doing very well, and our communication has gotten a lot better. I have learned some tools to use to not rile myself up when he doesn't answer me, usually because of work or rating. With the help of my therapist, I'm focusing on my insecurities and what I want from our relationship. I have told him that I do love him and that I'm going to prove myself to him. And work on myself and be better. I told him I know I screwed up and all I can do is try to prove myself to him. I have applied to literally every caregiving job I can and got zero response and callbacks. I started applying anywhere and everywhere. Fast food, gas station office. Hell even retail because of the season and nothing. It put me off and I was becoming upset and feeling very down. My job doesn't have any clients near me and since my main method of transportation is public transit I can't go very far without spending several hours on his routes. We are communicating more effectively. I have a very long way to go and he seems willing to talk. I told him I was upset because we weren't spending holidays together and I wanted us to be a family. He told me I haven't gotten a job and I'm not proving myself. I had to explain I literally have applied everywhere. Everywhere restaurants, movie theaters. And nothing. I am trying very hard and me not working makes me upset and feel worthless. We agreed right now isn't the right time for us to be together. He's tired of supporting me financially and is waiting for me to get myself taken care of. My uncle was recently diagnosed with advanced cancer and has no kids has never been married and lives with our 93-year-old great-aunt and my second cousins, her grandkids. I was feeling so horrible and was honestly contemplating just leaving going somewhere and not returning because my depression was so bad. My thoughts were becoming worse and my therapist was getting concerned. My mother who needs to work to save to have an important surgery to have her uterus removed can't take the time off to take care of him and was talking about quoting to care for her littler brother. My mom's done a lot for us raising four kids alone after my father passed. My uncle changed his whole life around from being a raging alcoholic and drug addict to a hard-working clean church-going man. I am very proud of what he has overcome. I decided my uncle needed care and I moved in with him to care for him after chemo and be with him since I'm trained in oncology care. It has been so much better, I've been watching him like a hawk, what he eats drinks cleaning the bathroom before and after everyone's use so he doesn't get sick from anyone. I can get paid to take care of him when he applied for SSC next month. My husband is supportive of me caring for him. He's also proud of my uncle for what he has overcome. I'm in a better place, but I have a very long way to go. My family is very religious and my cousin told me that I was meant to be here for him. She's been helping me spiritually and has helped start a new nutritional lifestyle since I've confided in her I want to diet and lose weight. I want to thank everyone for the advice and I am working harder every day. I am only on a small dose of anxiety medication. And I'm having therapy twice a week. We're slowly trying to heal and overcome our issues in our marriage and my own personal traumas. It's going very well, and I've gotten back into cooking. I haven't started writing like I used to, but my doctor says one step at a time. Background, I'm 32 female, married to my husband S, 36 male, we have a son who's 6 male. My husband works at a well-paying job, but it requires tons of efforts, which was why he wasn't really attentive to us. If that didn't help, COVID put us in lockdown, and we both put on a lot of weight. Our bedroom became less frequent at that point. This year, I've started attending gym and eating healthy. I've grown fit and also made new friends who I've started to hang out with twice a week, both male and female, you see, I was an introvert and never really went out or stayed up late. 
The thrill, excitement, living to the fullest is beautiful. I also went on a trip, against my husband's wishes, with my friends and spent a decent amount of money, something he's pissed off about. My husband works seven to eight hours a day and also takes care of my son most of the time, his insistence, I'd asked him to visit Jim with me, but he's always refused. Our distance increased this period and we both weren't aware of it. He began to cook his own meals, didn't even call me like before or asked where I was going. It's as if he gave up. I noticed this a few times and I too grew resentful about it, thinking, why wouldn't he just ask me, why wouldn't he talk to me? Two months after this, we are currently in August RN, he drops the news he got a promotion. He was worried if he would make it, which is why he was stressed out and couldn't concentrate on other things. He apologized about it and told me he'd make it up for it. Our life started to improve. We started to have sex frequently, but I don't know why I felt disconnected to him. It's as if I wasn't attracted to him anymore. He wasn't overweight or obese, just put on a few pounds, and I wasn't attracted to him. We planned a date night in September, but it got delayed, my fault, because our son had a high fever, we had to visit my parents and also I told him numerous times that I wasn't interested in going to dates with him because I was depressed and needed time, I lied about that, I was just not attracted to him, all my friends and me were fit, I was enjoying the attention I got. So this back and forth went on for the following months. Our bedroom became dead again. Until last week, I finally gave in and after that, we planned a date night. So it was four days ago, we were out, our son was with his sister. We went out to our favorite place and was talking. I felt lively and relived the old memories again, this was the place we went on our first date, I felt the spark and chemistry again. It was then I happened to stumble upon one of my gym friends, male, let's call him T. He was well built and he himself was on a date with another woman. He greeted me and I introduced him to my husband, he told him hi and asked me if we can go out and grab a coffee later on. It was even before my husband had the time to introduce himself properly. He was disrespected by it and I too was caught off guard. I told him later on and he left. I noticed my husband was off and pissed. So I asked him if everything was alright. He looked at me and said he doesn't think we can do it anymore, I'm gonna write the conversation down on how it went. S, my husband, I don't think we can do it anymore. Me, what do you mean? S, I feel like you're cheating on me. You don't take care of the house anymore, the spark is gone, you don't handle our son, you're out without telling me with your friends, you don't even listen to me nowadays and don't care what I think. You went to the trip, I wrote earlier about, alone even though I refused and spent dollar 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 dollar. I tried to talk to you. But you don't even have time for me. Christmas around the corner and you're not even planning anything for it. What's gotten into you? Me, okay, it isn't what it looks like, you knew exactly how I was treated before I met you. I was hated by everyone. I was an introvert and never had any friends. I'm sorry you feel like this. Before I could finish, he said, what is going on between you and your friends? You spend more time in gym and with them than in our home. I don't think I can even take this far. I'm gonna be blunt in here. If things are going to be like this, I want a divorce. I feel like a doormat. Hearing this, I get mad and we get into an argument where I said some very hurtful things to him. He couldn't argue back because we were at a public place and he valued his reputation more. He just listened. When I was done, he just softly said, now he surely wants a divorce. To which I blew up and told him maybe I should divorce him because he's unfit and I wasn't attracted to him anymore. After this, he told me not to bother coming home and he got up, paid and left with me there. I went to my mom's house and he didn't even call me. I went to pick up my son and his sister told me my husband took him earlier. When I went to our house back, he wasn't there, neither was our son. We didn't even talk after that. I've called him. He hasn't called back or replied to my texts. I apologized and told us we can make it work. I told him I was sorry. Offered marriage counseling. I told him I'd cut off my friends and quit gym. I told him I didn't mean those words. 
I haven't told my parents about this yet, but they can clearly see something is off because my husband is usually a calm person and never ever will take this action during this holiday week without a reason. I've ruined our Christmas. He dropped my son yesterday morning at my parents and refused to come inside or see me. He didn't even talk to my dad or mom. I don't know what's going on inside his head. I drove to our house yesterday, without my son, so we can talk this out and make this work, he wasn't there. I found beer cans and cigarettes there, never in his life he touched these, I fucked up royally, I know he took it seriously, and I don't know what to do now. Reddit, please help me out. Edit, I am extremely remorseful for how I treated him and I want to set things right. I take full accountability of my actions and consequences. I'll set it right. I was awful to him. I know that. I don't need you all to set me aflame further because I know precisely what I did and I want to make it work. Marriage has ups and downs and in ours, I did shitty behavior which impacted us. I can't imagine my life without him. I love him. I was there at a point where I got lost, where the limelight, the attention felt so much of a reality I forgot who I really was. I disrespected my husband, the man who stood by me all these years in the worst possible way, and there is no other punishment, which is more deadlier than him filing for divorce, I want us to work. I'm writing my feelings down in hopes of getting therapy, and I'll be seeing a family friend soon, who's a therapist. Meanwhile, I just want to let my husband know I'm sorry, but I can't because he's not replying, people say the opposite of love is indifference, and I'm dying right now, I want him to be mad. I want him to shout at me. I want him to tell me how shitty I am but, I want him to talk to me. I want us to be a family again, at this point, I'm really disgusted with myself, I don't know how can I ever win his trust back, but, I need to.